Hello, my name is Kishore Kasim Sethi. I'm a product marketing director at Cadence responsible for DDRIP. We are very excited today to demonstrate what we believe is the world's first DDR5 IP silicon prototype. What is driving DDR5? The need for higher bandwidth, higher density is unrelenting, and DDR5 is the new standard that the industry is working to meet these requirements. What we have today is a pre-standard DDR5 Phi and controller IP in silicon talking to a real DRAM at blazing high speeds of 4,400 megabit per second. Um, over to Suresh, who runs our lab to demonstrate the DDR5 IP silicon. Thank you very much, Kishore. Hi, I'm Suresh, and I'm responsible for test chip characterization and validation. Today, I'll demonstrate you the world's first DDR5 as a Cadence product. So here you can see our first uh, DDR5, DDR4 uh, setup, and that's a board. This board has a socket uh, wherein we have a very high, high advanced node uh, test chip. And if you see on the back of the board, we have the DDR5 uh, devices uh, mounted. So what you see on the monitor is uh, Cadence DDR software, which is a highly configurable software and customers ca can use it to reconfigure as per their SOC requirements. So here we can see, you know, all the trainings have been enabled, which are the uh, uh, command address, the write leveling, uh, gate leveling, read training, and write DQ. And uh, we have selected the option to select go into DDR5 mode. Okay, and uh, the frequency is set to 220, that is 4400 data rate. And if you see here, the, uh, if this has been started and the PLL has been, clocks has been set to 2200 uh, clock rate, which is again DDR 4400 data rate. And all the controller, uh, the PHI and the PI registers has been programmed and we have started the controller. So this, this will uh, trigger all the trainings uh, during initialization and we will slowly go through one of the, uh, the training results and we'll see how it looks. So this is basically the training results of uh, Command Bus. And if you can see, you, this shows all the leading edge and trailing edge delays, which is pretty good margins we have here. This is the right leveling uh, results delay. So basically the clock in DQS has been aligned with the de delay of 1C8 for slice 0, slice 1, and uh, slice 2 and slice 3. You can also see uh, the observation registers, which gives you details at what delays the hard zero and hard one have been uh, uh, trained to. This is the results of gate training, uh, where you can see the gate, uh, gate results would have been uh, 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 configured. So we almost have three cycles of uh, uh, DQS latency, gate latency, and the delay is hex 86. This is the results of right DQ training. Okay, so we have uh, a leading edge of this value and trailing edge of this value. So almost we get very excellent margins on, on trainings. So here we, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna uh, do a two dimensional shmoo, which is to find the right DQ window. Okay, what we are doing here is we are varying the uh, delays in the X direction, and then we are changing the DRAM VREF to see what the, uh, what the margins we get. So now it has started calculating the margins. So this is our characterization uh, setup we have. We have all the Tektronics probe, which is connected to a Tektronics scope. And on the scope, we have taken a right burst measurement, basically uh, DQS DQ. And if you can see, we have an eye opening of, of almost 500 millivolt, which is very, very good uh, margin. And this is data taken at uh, 4,400 data rate. Thanks for watching this DDR5 demo. For more information, please go to ip.cadence.com.